Welcome to Newsboy on Track. Nell Gwynn stakes day at a blustery Newmarket. The classic trial was won by Hot Snap, trained by Sir Henry Cecil, a daughter of Pivotal and a half-sister to the stable's multiple Group 1 winner, Midday. There was bound to be a reaction in the anti-post market for the Kipco 1000 guineas at Newmarket on May the 5th. Luckily, Labrook's David Williams was on hand to tell me all about it. David Williams of Labricks, an impressive performance from Hot Snap in the Nelgwyn Stakes here at Newmarket. What reaction for the 1,000 guineas sponsored by Kipco on May the 5th? It was a, st a staggering win, really very impressive indeed. She enters now as the 7-1 to one third favourite for the 1,000 guineas, only certify and just the judge ahead of her at 6-1 to one joint favourites. But you would imagine when she gets the thumbs up from Sir Henry Cecil, there is every chance that she can be sent off the favourite for the first classic for the Phillies. She won by two and a quarter lengths. She was a debut winner at Kempton last year. There should be more improvement to come, according to the trainer at least. Yeah, I think so. And it's not beyond the realms of possibility that she could, looking at her breathing, that she could get well beyond a mile. Uh, the prior to the race today, uh, prior to that race, we actually were laying her for the Oaks. She was 20 to 1. She was widely available at 25 to 1 for the Oaks. She's now 10 to 1. So there obviously is a lot of improvement. She appeared to be doing her best work at the very end of the race. She's a filly to get excited about. But it's not just the 1,000 guineas where you've had market moves. Toronado, of course, runs in the Craven Stakes here at Newmarket on Thursday. Interest in him and also Aidan O'Brien's Mars, surprisingly. Yeah, and I think the Mars money has taken a few people a little bit by surprise. Mars 10 to 1 into 6 to 1 now. Uh, joint second favourite, of course, Dawn Approach dominates that 2,000 guineas market. But 6 to 1 Mars from 10 to 1, a significant market move for the Ballet Oil horse. The same price now, 6 to 1, as Toronado. They've been backing this horse at double figures all the way down. A big run expected from Toronado in the Craven. And I think subsequent to that race, the picture will be an awful lot clearer.